Full Ultimer Junior Greco Roman Champion at 182 pounds. It was a little tight there. You were able to separate it. How does it feel, man? You know, it feels awesome. Been here about five years, four years now. Been in semis three times out of about six times being here. You know, we finally got it done here, so very happy right now. Yeah, so I, I you know, the match was kind of close there at the beginning. You were able to get to your offense. You were able to separate the score, get the tech. Uh, what were the keys for you in, 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 in that scenario? You know, I knew he was going to come out hard, trying to get to his arms, trying to get to his underhooks. And I could tell in the beginning of the match, he's going to the opposite side of what I'm comfortable with. But during the match, I started to adjust to it. Mm -hmm. And I knew exactly what he was going to do, come out very strong. And the number one thing about me is I like to stay patient during the matches. Right. So that helped me at the end, just waiting for him to come at me. Because once I got the score on him, he started attacking more. And that's when I started getting my uh, throws in and do what I do. Yeah, going back to what you said about, you know, you've, you've been here forever. It's never gone your way. Uh, what lessons did you learn from from from, uh, from those tournaments? You know, uh, one lesson I learned is to stay very calm when you're going into the finals. Because every time I go in the finals, usually, I psych myself out. That's happened in numerous tournaments. But lately, I've been just very calm. Thinking to myself, and I, I'll psych myself and, you know, just getting it done. But this time you didn't psych yourself out. You stayed patient and yep. you're a national champion. Yep, exactly. I'm just kind of curious about high school. I, I, I know that uh, your high school, uh, Minnesink Valley High School, I mean, a lot of recruits there. PJ Duke, the Macaluso sisters, Zach Ryder. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on there? You know, it's a very good program. You know, when you have good athletes coming out of there, more athletes want to go there and join the school. So honestly, it's probably one of the best decisions I've made going there. It's a good community to be in. So, you know, it was very good. Speaking of decisions, you're you're a full-on Greco guy now. Yeah. You're going to Northern Michigan. Uh, you're going to Northern Michigan, the regional training site. Uh, how excited are you for to how how excited are you to be a Wildcat? I'm very excited. You know, Coach Beasley is very good coach. You know, and I'm not even at my potential yet of Greco wrestling. And honestly, I just started getting I just started going. So once I get there. I think I'm gonna jump up a lot of levels and be at the world level. You said you just started going Greco, right? Though well, I'm not like saying just started going Greco, yeah. but you know, I'm not at the level where I should be. Right, right. You know, I'm not, it's not everyday training with Greco, but next year when I'm training every day at uh, NMU, it's gonna be very, very good for me. Yeah, so and I think I'm gonna make it to the next level. Definitely. Your recruiting process, uh, did you always know that you fully wanted to go to Northern Michigan, or I mean, were there other like regular? Uh, NCAA programs on you as well. Uh, you know, I was thinking about going to wrestle folk style in college, but as Greco started and I started seeing how good I was doing, from only basic training, not too many practices a week, I was getting to the next level, winning uh, the Opens. So, you know, that was very that was a big decision about that, and they're talking to the coach. So, you know, I think that's where I should be. Yeah, definitely. Michael Altimer, Greco Roman. Junior Cracker Roman champion at 182 pounds. You're headed to Northern Michigan. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.